Rick Continues. Here's our ongoing series of videos on the Rick Van Man channel. Today, he is in the kitchen. Greetings and salutations. This is Rick with the ever-growing hair. And in today's video, I'm going to be trying to make a mug cake. Well, first things first, the weather outside is absolutely awful. It's almost quite wintry, actually. Um, so today I decided I would put on my little kitchen lights, my nice little colorful lights, uh, just to cheer things up a little bit. So, mug meals. Um, apparently they were popular about a year ago. I completely missed out on this whole thing. And there are loads and loads and loads of videos on YouTube on how to make meals in a mug. And they're very, very simple and straightforward. You just spoon in a few ingredients into the mug, uh, mix them up, put it in the microwave, and you've got whatever it is you make. Um, cakes are very popular. You can make pizzas, you can make uh, uh, macaroni cheese, and all sorts of little savory dishes like that but today's video I'm going to be trying to make a lava cake now first of all gotta say big kudos and shout out to Steve's kitchen I actually stumbled across um, while, I, while I was looking for these mug cake recipes I stumbled across some of Steve's recipes now he's done some excellent mug cake recipes and I fell in love with the lava cake that he did and this is what I'm doing here today this is kind of based on his recipe so hopefully he's gonna be okay with me um, sort of borrowing his recipe um, but I will put a link below to the video that uh, inspired this so that you can see how it's done properly now Steve uh, when he made his he made it uh, for two people it, I think it was coming up to Valentine's Day and um, he made this kind of lovely sort of two-person mug lava cake that you could share with a loved one unfortunately I live on my own and I haven't got anyone to share it with so I've decided to um, half the ingredients so this is just for one <laughs> So, zoom on in and I'll show you the ingredients. So, what we have here is one and a half teaspoons of butter melted, half an egg, one and a half tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of cocoa powder. I haven't got cocoa powder, so I used unsweetened drinking chocolate. Two teaspoons of all-purpose flour. One and a half tablespoons of full-fat milk. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any full-fat milk. In fact, I don't have any cow's milk at all in the house. So what I've got here is one tablespoon of goat's milk and a small squirt of aerosol cream. Hopefully that's going to work. Just a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and uh, some form of chocolate. You can use any kind of chocolate that you want. I'm personally using my favorite, most favorite chocolate in the whole world, which is the Green and Black's White Organic Chocolate. But you're just gonna need a few, a few pieces of it. Now, the whole point of mug meals is that you, you simply make uh, whatever it is you're gonna make in a mug in the microwave. It's very, very quick, very, very simple and uh, doesn't take a lot of time at all. That's, that's the theory. For today's video, I'm gonna be using this mug, which is a big oversized mug that I sort of discovered in my cupboard. So let's get on and have a go at making it. So we're gonna start off with the butter going in and then we're just going to add all the other dry ingredients. So we're going for the sugar, the flour, the chocolate, and the baking powder. Gonna give those a little mix up. I'll throw in a little pinch of salt as well, or in this case I'm using uh, Himalayan rock salt. Just, you only need a tiny little bit of that because it's very strong. So, gonna give this a little mix and see what it looks like. Wow, it's starting to look a bit like chocolate cake already and it hasn't even been cooked yet. There you go, hopefully you can, where are you? There you go, hopefully you can see that. Okay, now I'm going to add the other wet ingredients. So we're going for the egg and we're going for the milk. And uh, where I sprayed that aerosol cream in, uh, you can now see, hopefully, uh, it seems to have mixed quite well with the milk. So hopefully that'll be like full fat milk, even though it's goat's milk. Okay, let's give it a go. Gonna keep going until that's nice and smooth. So there we go, we've got this great looking butter that hopefully 
is going to work. Um, we'll find out in a second. Right then, so now I'm going to drop in with a pair of tweezers because then, then you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to drop in some chocolate in the middle. So I'm just going to use three pieces of this organic white chocolate. There we go. And then last but not least, I'm going to put in half a tablespoon of water. Just pour it over the chocolate there. Okay, so now we're going to put it in the microwave for, I'm going to go for about a minute and a half. This is an 800 watt microwave. I'll go a minute and a half and then let's see what happens. Right, let's have a look and see what we've got here. Ooh, that's interesting. It's sort of tipped over a little bit, but let's have a little prod at it. And yeah, that's actually a cake. Look, you've actually got cake material here. I'm not quite sure where the chocolate's gone. The chocolate's disappeared inside. I'll tell you what, let me put this out on a plate and see what it looks like. I know it sort of defies uh, what mug meals are all about, but I want to have a look at it just to see what it looks like. <laughs> okay. There we go. Well, we've sort of got ourselves a a sort of a mug cake. Um, the chocolate's not entirely melted. It is a little bit melty, but you see we've got like a cake structure going on there. If I cut that open, that's actually there's a proper that's a proper cake structure that is. That's fine. So the real test is what's it like to eat. Might be a bit a bit warm. That's okay. Oh. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That's really, really, really nice. That's a proper chocolate cake with real chocolate in it. And it was made in a mug. Although it's on a plate now. That's just for um just so you can see it, but you could quite easily eat it out of the uh, uh the mug there. I'm not quite sure why the the chocolate fell through to the bottom. I think the batter was very, very runny, wasn't it? So the cake must have risen up around it, but it actually put the chocolate on the bottom. But that's absolutely fine. That's um, not not bad. I'm really impressed with how it tastes, actually. Mmm. Oh. That is gorgeous. So there we go. That's it. Uh, lava mug cake in a mug. Well, obviously not in a mug in this case, um, but you can eat it from the mug to save you washing up. Uh, my very first attempt, it's uh, not as pretty as I was hoping it might be, but that's not a problem. And uh, I shall carry on practicing at this until I get it exactly right. Uh, in the meanwhile, go make sure you go and check out Steve's channel, Steve's Kitchen. Uh, because this is where I uh, originally got the inspiration to try it from and Steve knows what he's doing and he got it right first time so definitely worth a view so thanks for watching guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video take care